Have you thought about getting custom keycaps for your new ortholinear or columnar keyboard like the Digma Defy? I guess so. Why did you click on this video otherwise? Hi Digmates, it's me, Dominique. A few weeks ago, some of you asked us where you could find more keycaps for the Digma Defy besides the one we offer in our shop. Link is in the description below if you want to check them out. You were concerned that buying a standard set wouldn't be enough. Our first thought was, well, besides the 16 thumb keys, the Defy only mounts 54 keys. So sure, a keycap set would be fine. Then we realized that on a columnar or ortholinear keyboard, like the Defy, all keycaps are one unit. So we got all of these keyboards and started counting their keycaps. One, two, three, four, five, six. On a 100% layout set, you know, the one with the number pad and all, you will find these one unit keys. 40 row one keycaps, 18 on row two, 14 on row three, and 18 row four keycaps. On a 75% layout keyboard, you'd usually get these one unit keys. 30 row one keycaps, 13 on row two, 12 on row three, and 18 row four keycaps. On a 65% model, you'd get a similar number of one unit keycaps, except for the row one keycaps. You'd get 14 of those. And finally, on a 60% model, on average, you'd get one less of each, except for row four. So that's 13 on row one, 12 on row two, 11 on row three, and 18 on row four. So now let's see how we can make these keycaps work for some columnar or ortholinear keyboards. Let's start with the Digma Defy. For simplicity, we'll ignore the custom thumb keys. The Defy has 54 one unit keys arranged in this way. 14 on row one, 14 on row two, 14 on row three, and 12 on row four. On the other hand, the Moonlander has the same number of keycaps from rows 1 to 3, but has extra 10 row 4 keycaps, the ones from the modifier row. We'll ignore the Keyboardio Model 100 or the Kinesis Advantage 360 because their keycaps are mostly custom sculpted. If you paid attention in math class at school, you've probably realized the problem by now, but let me spell it out for you. Even if you buy a 100% layout keycap set, you might not have enough one unit keycaps for your columnar keyboard. For the Moonlander, for example, you'll miss some row four keycaps. Fortunately, there are enough keycaps for the Defy, but even in that case, you would need to use random keycaps for the outer and inner columns. So what can you do? Well, you could buy keycaps from us. Have you seen our Dash keycaps? Just kidding, not kidding. Let's see some options. One of the reasons we're missing some one unit keycaps is that each row is sculpted differently. With a uniform profile like the XDA or DSA, you can put any key anywhere. That way, it's much easier to fill your keyboard with one unit keycaps where you want them. Other sets might come with all row three keycaps, which serve the same purpose. If you want to know more about keycap profiles, check out this other video, which we made a few months ago. Or, or years ago. Wow, time flies. And I just keep getting younger. Uniform profile keycaps are also great if you use a layout different than QWERTY, like Colmac or Dvorak. However, the problem is that with all the rows being the same height, you might not find them as comfortable as sculpted profiles. So have that in mind before purchasing. Get keycaps with no legends. Well, that's another obvious solution. If the keycaps don't have legends or they have dashes or dots instead, it doesn't matter where you place them. Have I mentioned that we have beautiful dashed keycaps? The problem here would be having enough one unit keycaps for your keyboard. Depending on the set in question and the keyboard you have, you might need to get two. Rewind the video a bit and check the numbers. And of course, there's the problem of not having legends. If you're used to touch typing, you're probably good to go. If not, watch this other video to get ready. Okay, a set of keycaps might not be enough to replace all the keys of your columnar keyboard, but so what? You could get the set that you like and change just the alphas or the alpha and the number row. This provides a quick and cheap replacement for the keys that suffer the most and can completely change how your keyboard looks. If you do this, please remember to buy a set with the same profile as your keyboard. If you don't, they'll have a different shape and height and you'll height them. 
The Digma Defy, for example, uses cherry profile keycaps. Reuse and recycle. If one set of keycaps won't make it, what about two? I'm not talking about getting two full sets, but you and your friends probably have spare keys from other sets lying around that you can use to mix and match. That'll make your keyboard really uh, one of a kind. As you see, there's no perfect solution to get keycaps for your columnar keyboard. And we haven't even talked about the custom thumb keys, but we'll leave that for another day. We hope this video helped those of you looking for keycaps. And if you've come up with a better solution, please share it in the comments below. As usual, like and subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell icon. We have more content coming for you, and we don't want you to miss it. Until then, keep calm and buy your dash keycaps.